All right, welcome back, everybody. When last we left our, our hero, Corvo Atano, he'd just been devoured by rats because he messed with Granny Rags, who is apparently much more than she seems. So we're going to reload from just before that happened and continue our adventure. With me again is Nick. Hello. And it begins. We're still on our mission to assassinate the High Overseer. Hey Nick. Since it's the first Me since oh. Hey Nick, since it's the, the since this is the first time we've watched this together and not a retake after a technical problem wrecked the previous recording, why don't you spontaneously ask me a question about the game mechanics? Possibly involving oh, yeah. the blink power. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, you were telling me a little bit about the blink mechanics in uh, regards of distance. Yes, that's right. The, um, th the thing with the blink power is it's more effective horizontally than vertically. You can go up and down with it as well, but you don't get as much range upwards as you do side to side. And oh, there's a couple of ne'er do wells, so you can see the reaching up there it doesn't go all that high. So it's not great for. If you want to scale like the side of a building with it, you kind of often you kind of want to zigzag between two buildings. If you see ledge on one side, you go up to there, and then you go to the other side, or like this, and then you make your way up. Okay, now the Bottle Street Gang. We'll be seeing a lot of these guys. They're shaking down a local merchant, and Corvo's not done with that. Corvo's the villain here, not them, so. How dare they step on his turf. Now I'll give you, now you have a chance to see the, um, the drop kill. Which, which is nice. Now you might think that would lead me to victory, but that playthrough is left in because I wanted to show you that. Which is one of the cooler powers they have. They huff like what I assume is booze out of this big bottle of, out of this big brown paper bag and spray fire at you in the face like some Japanese pro wrestler or something. And if you get engulfed in that, you're in trouble. All right, now I'll get him and... Oh, no! Anyone there? And I just left that in because literally falling on my face like that just amuses me. I assure you, there's a lot... I'm a lot more incompetent than just the than just that would indicate. I, I cut so much out. There we go! And, you know, since he set me on fire in that previous timeline, I think it's only fair. <laughs> so I see you can, um, combine the powers, the blink powers, uh, pretty easily with some of the... Yeah, you can... Kills. Yeah, you can blink. I owe you, brother. Oh, oh, I wouldn't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either, pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Oh, Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal, but until then, it's scavenging for me. I should mention, the audio for this might be a couple, a little bit off, so if you're watching this at home and he looked Don't like worry. some kung fu, kung fu villain about to... Tell me that my gray tiger style was weak. That's why it's the problem's not on your end. But yeah, the um, you can use the blink power to sort of like z like zap yourself to a point in midair and then like fall onto a guy. So it can be in p it can be very powerful in combination with this with the drop attack. How did this guy get in here? I think he locked himself in. I think he it was locked because he locked himself in. Oh. H hiding from those dudes. Geological survey. Check it out, here's a map of, like, some of the world of Dishonored. There's Tivia, Morley, Gristal, and below here is C Corvo's home, Circonos. Sir Sir That's what it's called. And over here is the Pandician Continent, which is mostly unexplored and full of terrifying creatures, and people going there apparently have this unfortunate habit of going mad, for reasons unknown. Bone Charms. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions and scrimshaw. Bone Charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back. 
passed from father to son, old man salt to greenhorn still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tivia. Yeah, Tivia's the northernmost island. It's basically not, it's basically not Russia slash not Scandinavia. That's where uh, Sokolov is from. Interesting. Once the whale trade began, the practitioners went <coughs> the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, rendering, rendering, rendering charms that sing in the night and great, grant some small boon to a man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. Which is good, because my defense against pregnancy is not as high as I would like, personally. I just... Yeah, I'm super not defensive. I am just... I am just... I guess get knocked up at the drop of... knocked up at the drop of a hat, so if I had some sort of charm... Plan B is so expensive. <laughs> And now we've and now we've lost we've lost an important demographic. I hope you're happy. Which which one? I don't know. Fetuses. <laughs> that that was awful. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, that was a nice let's play channel we had for a couple episodes, Nick. Let's continue. So yeah, it's not clear how these guys died, huh? Nah, uh, might have been, been the plague, might have been hunger. A lot of ways to die in, in Dunwall. Alright, now, speaking of bone charms, I just grabbed another one. Hmm. They, make, they make those weird, eerie sounds when they're just lying out, as the runes do. Yeah, there's a general sense that magic in the universe of Dishonored, it's not... It's not like, you know... Friendly, you know, fantasy magic. It's it's it's, cre it's creepy and sinister. Even when it's being used for good, it's kind of unnerving and weird. Oh, Clavering Boulevard. It's not being used for good here. No. no, no well, no, because I'm playing. So. <laughs> All right, now there's there's the office of that doctor with the rat guts that Granny Rags wants us to use to taint the. Uh, the elixir still. This is and here we can, here's the world seen through dark vision. Living things appear in yellow. Actually, I believe dead bodies do as well. Living or recently ex-living. Or or ex-living. I'm I'm mixing up my prefixes. Attention, Dunwall citizens. So report all deceased you have family a couple members different of the local here. dead. Yeah, the game. Unreported the game generally gives you a lot of a lot of freedom to approach things in different ways. And above and beyond just the choice of lethal or non-lethal. That's a wall of light. Basically, it, if you uh oh. Hey guys, I'm just you know coming down to visit and go, hey, hey! Well this isn't good. Oh and there's more of them! Oh! Yeah, you can be killed by rats in this game. And they can take you down pretty quick if you're not careful. Not a glorious way to go. No. Now, they attack in swarms. If there's only a few rats like, isolated, they won't do anything. But if you get, like, a critical mass of them, you're in trouble. The Wall of Light will activate and zap them if they try to run through, through it, though. Interesting. So you can see them there, so they show up. Do they show up? Because I noticed that when they're not in a big mass, they're not hostile. So will they show up on dark vision? Yeah, they still do. Okay. And they also eat corpses. Well, we, as we've already seen. But that's a trick. It's that's a trick you can use if you need to hide a body. You just give it to the rats. <coughs> not me specifically. Well, not not necessarily. Well. It could be. Not you in know. real life, though. I would totally you... consider getting a bunch of hamsters for that, but... Yep. The pet shop might get sort of suspicious after a while. Yeah. I mean, they let that one guy keep buying hamsters, the guy who kept putting them in people's butts. I'm not even going to ask. Alright. Now, as you can see, I'm... Much like the Pied Piper of Hamlin, I'm going to start leading these rats through the street because after I was devoured, it gave me a diabolically brilliant idea 
Uh-oh. And they see me. But it's too late. It is far too late. Their life is forfeit to the rats. I got that guy. And there they go. They are going to town on that dude. You got some sort of flippy, like, oh! Edwards. The, the astute okay. viewer may have noticed I just edited there because I got killed. I don't want, I don't want to, I try to, I try to make the transitions as smooth as I can, but I don't want people to think I'm trying to make it, I don't want people to think I'm some master of dishonor who barely gets killed. I die a lot in this game. I'm good enough to beat it on the hardest difficulty mode, but just barely. Oh. You know, that's some sort of Edward Scissorhands flippy blade. Oh. Ooh, those guys... Here they come. Oh, down you go. Yeah, the, the counterattacks after a parry are very effective. And yeah, fun. These Pardon? animations are really good, too. Yeah. Yeah, the character animations in this game are really cool. Now, these, these guards, they just pick up crap and throw them at throw it at you. Oh, there goes his head. Oh, that's right. I, I, I actually... I guess it got picked up on the recording. I got the Steam achievement for... I think it's killing five guys in a single battle or something. Hmm. Oh, and, they, and now those rats are just... They do not stop. It's Thanksgiving for them. Uh, pretty much. Thankful for Corvo. And there they... And I believe... The rats also... If there's only one or two rats, they also... They will not attack corpse. It's like attacking the living... They need you need like a swarm of them. They need the confidence. Yeah, basically. Rats are very conformist creatures. So they only do things as they, they want to see they want to make sure that devouring human flesh is trendy before they join in themselves. <laughs> so those are tanks of the whale oil? Yes, that's the whale oil. It's like you know, it's clearly not, you know, whale oil as we know it in our world. It's a blue Right. And that powers, among other things, that powers the walls of light. And one way to get past the walls of light is to yank out or just blow up the whale oil tank that's in the socket powering it. Oh, okay. And, and actually, I believe, I've, I don't know how long it takes, but I, I, I believe if, yeah, if you, uh, enough stuff hits a wall of light and gets fried by it, the, the level of, of the whale oil tank will start to drop. So it's not, it's, it's hmm. finite. And if it, you can't, so you can't... So Sorry? If you, Go ahead. Oh, if you run it out, will um, will they replace it? I'm not sure. They if you if you remove the tank, they will notice. If a guy walks by, they'll notice it's gone. I'm not sure if it works for just running out or not. I've never tested it. Hmm. All right, here. Now, no no reason to go in the front door when we can just pay a visit on the balcony. He's just a regular old cab burglar. Yep. I'm the Felicia Hardy of the of the steampunk world. And here we are. Just help yourself to some bread. I help myself to anything and everything in this game. <laughs> Look, if if they didn't want me me stealing their money, they shouldn't have had money. Simple as that. Is nothing sacred, Corvo? Definitely not, as you'll see when I enter the abbey <laughs> and encounter their religious, the local religious officials. Oh, here's two people. So there's a little bit of a conversation. Yeah. Yes. There's a maid talking to. You. I do not fear women, but I do deny them my essence. What was this guy supposed to be? Come on, that was gold. You don't. You never seen Doctor Strangelove? <laughs> Sorry, it took me a second to play. All right, all right. What is he doing there? Why do the maids wear tight sweatpants? Uh, why do you wear tight pants to yoga? I don't know. It's it's a mystery. I don't understand how. Truly, but yeah, we're talking about Sokolov here. I guess it's more uh, utilitarian than the classic French maid outfit. I guess. 
I grudgingly accept your explanation. Oh, yeah, so yeah, these two are. They're talking about. The, these two are getting married soon. Wouldn't it be a shame if anything were to happen to one of them? Wouldn't that be sad? You'd ruin such a happy marriage. Mm. Oh, no. Well, well, even even I didn't kill her because, I even I, even in this playthrough, I didn't kill people who were unarmed. You know, just regular j guards doing their job, they died, but if you're completely uh, if you're completely unarmed, I spared you. Mostly. So you're like a predator. Oh, no! Oh. What a tragedy. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. I'm like I'm like the predator. I I leave the females of the species to repl replenish the stock of prey for my next visit. I really hope you weren't actually thinking about that. <laughs> No, but I am now. <laughs> Corvo Otano, the demon that makes trophies of men.